Hey, how's it going YouTube? This is Jared with How To Real Estate. And today I'm gonna to be talking about um, how to find a mentor, a real estate mentor. If you go into, uh, if you read a lot of books, uh, a lot of podcasts, they talk about trying to find a mentor. Someone that can kind of walk you through a lot of the steps. Uh, you can get a lot, a lot of online education, go to YouTube University, but it's, it's really different when you actually have someone there kind of almost holding your hand along the way. So this video is to show you the do's and the do nots when trying to find a mentor. And this can be applied to any mentor, uh, just in general, but we're gonna be talking specifically about real estate, but you can apply this to finding a realtor, maybe about a coaching mentor, uh, uh, a health coach mentor, something along those lines where someone, you find someone to help you in your, in your path. So uh, there's some, a lot of do nots, a lot of mistakes people make. And this is some mistakes I personally have made and these are mistakes of people. I've been on both sides. So when I first started, I was looking for those mentors. Um, and then now that I've kind of taken off and been successful, people kind of want me to mentor them. And I've, and I've mentored quite a few uh, people and helped them get to the first, second, and third deal. So uh, that's been, you know, there's, it's been rewarding on, on emotionally and, and financially as well. So some of the mistakes people, when they first looking for a mentor, it's me, 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 me. That's what they're thinking. They want, I need a mentor so you can help me. That is a horrible mindset. If you ever expect someone that's so busy, they're doing deals, they have multiple companies, they're entrepreneur-like, and you just expect them to drop what they're doing and help you, you're insane. Straight up insane. Like that's not normal. No one really thinks, no one's gonna do that. So good luck. I mean, I've had people, I've seen posts, on, for example, on Facebook, on some of the, the real estate uh, pages, and people just saying, I, I need a mentor, who can help me? And then that's like their page, like that's that's not how you do it. It needs to be, as someone looking for a mentor, like how I was, was how can I help you? How can I help your business grow? That's the mentality mentality you need to be to find a mentor because they're gonna teach you along the way. You know, so when I found people that can kind of walk me through the, the steps, especially my first, second, and third deal when I was like, oh, I don't know what I'm doing. You know, I, I was able to, to change my mindset, and was like, okay, you know what, I know I'm gonna learn, so what can I do to make your business bigger and better, right? So change the mindset from the me, 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 me to how can I help you, how can I help your business grow? That's the, that's the big difference. And, it's, and, and when you go into that mindset and leave, literally just tell that to that person, um, that's, that's how, it, they, they are more willing to help you, I promise you that. Um, how, to find, how to find mentors, first of all, uh, is networking, you know, uh, whether it's people through uh, Facebook, if you can go to the local re events, um, if you uh, if you're part of the Re Renatus community, you can, you know, they have their the weekly meetings. You can met, you can kind of network and things like that. If you don't know where to go, please message me, and I can actually connect you to a group that's close by, and I can kind of plug in the same system I'm plugged into, and you can be networking and do things like that. So feel free to message me if you're looking for those type of meetings and groups. I can point you in the right direction no matter where you're at in the country. Um, so go into network events, basically is what I'm saying. That's how you find your mentors. You can try to go through, you know, uh, Facebook, Instagram, you know, start following people that are doing actions, taking actions, and then offer your services to them. Um, so that's how you find mentors. One, that's one way, right? Um, uh, and when you're doing, when you're, when you're going, one thing you never say to, to a potential men mentor is, hey, I wanna buy you lunch to pick your brain. That's the common, common go-to for most people. When I hear that, I cringe. Because what does that tell the person? And I made the same mistake. So just we'll learn from my mistakes. When you say, I just wanna come pick your brain, what does that tell them? It's like, okay, so you want something from me. What am I getting out of it? A free meal? I don't care about a free meal. I care about my time more than anything else. You know, don't be wrong, I love free food but I care about my time. My time is more valuable than anything else in the world. So if you just want me to give up an hour or two of my time so you can pick my brain, you can go fly a kite. You know, I'm gonna be nice when I say that, but I'm saying, no, I don't have time, sorry buddy. The schedule's too tight. You know, so you have to uh, word it differently. Uh, even, if, even an invitation to lunch, you're like, I'd like to take you to lunch and I would like to see how I can help your business grow. Right now, is that now between those two invitations of I'd like to pick your brain and like I want to I want to see how I can help your business grow for free. You even throw that for free thing, um, or at no cost to you. 
I want to see how, how I can help your business grow at no cost to you. Would you be interested in having lunch with me? Okay, you, you can pique some people's interest, you know? And so uh, uh, that, that's, that's the, again, this whole thing is about changing the mindset of me, 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 me to how can I help you, right? Um, now, once you kind of get people to like, okay, yeah, I mean, I, I need, like as a mentor, when you're in that, that lunch, that conversation, um, you want to find out what are their needs? What are they missing? Maybe they need help in lead gen. Maybe they need help in managing some of the deals. Maybe they need help on knocking on doors, making phone calls, offer your services. But when you do this though, uh, some big mistakes people do, they don't express the expect. So a big don't is they don't express their expectations. So if you're not saying, okay, I, I'm willing to work for you for free effectively, but I expect you to teach me along the way. I expect you to do this Y and Z. At that point in time, when you find their hole, that's something they need help with, and you are able to do it, or you, have, you find someone able to do it, or whatever it is, set your expectations clearly that you want this, or this, and this. That's the one time where you can say, you know what, and from the very beginning, so there's no if, ands, or buts, because there are some people uh, that, that have are successful, and they will kind of lead people along, not really teaching them, because they have the, the they don't really want them to go off because if they can get them free help, they'll take free help all day long. You know, so you have to set expectations because not every successful person is a good mentor, right? And you have to have a, during that clutch, just have, you know, kind of find, have they helped someone else too? These are the questions you have to ask. You ask them, have they helped anyone else uh, along the way? After you, after you kind of establish that you, uh, that you are willing to help and this is how you can help, right? Then you get into the interview, like, if, is this even a really good thing for me? You know, because uh, if they've never helped someone before and they're not really interested, they don't, their time's so hard or, or whatever, then maybe that's not a good fit for you. And maybe the personalities don't mesh, don't mesh. You know, it's okay to, to, to pass on a mentor, you know, even if they're willing to take you on and, and, and but maybe, maybe it's not right. Maybe you don't, maybe they're just going to lead you along. You don't know. So you have to have that kind of interview process. But again, in the mindset of how can I help you, that type of, that. so once you set the expectations, what you're looking for. And, and, and you already express how you can help them. Um, and so there's no if, ands, or buts, if, ands, or buts on either way, right? Then you can actually start helping them and learning, learning as you go. Uh, it, it, it's, and, and when you're bringing someone, a lot of times, uh, for example, people that, that mentor with me, that I mentor, I tell them, bring me a deal, and then I will walk you through the process, we'll split it 50-50, right? So they brought the deal, Right, and then I'll okay, cool. Let's do it. I'll even you can come with me, and you can watch me close, and you can see the paperwork we're doing. I'll teach you how to do that, you know. And, we, and eventually you can start talking, and then I will I will just listen, you know. So, uh, when you're you're sharing your deal with your mentor, don't think of it as like, oh man, I'm only gonna make five thousand this deal instead of ten, or I'm only gonna make ten instead of twenty. Don't think like that. Think of it. You're paying for education. You're paying for. Like literally, literally, I, I have people pay me, uh, uh, they've paid me personally uh, $10,000 just to mentor them. I'm not exaggerating, they really have. So just to mentor them and have a few uh, hour phone calls with them. So I'm offering my services to, to show these people and when if you find someone, like that is worth a lot of money. If you, if you actually had the money to pay someone to do what, what a lot of these mentors will do, you have to realize, so when, you're, when you get in there, I mean, I've had people are like, you know, I've, I found this deal. I don't know what to do. You could take all the profits. I just want to learn how to do it. Man, I mean, I would never like take all the profits, of course, but what what the mentality that person went into, like, yeah, no, we'll split 50-50, but man, I am willing to go an extra mile helping this guy out because he, he even offered. And now again, not, some mentors are like, okay, I'll take all the profits. And that's not necessarily a bad thing. Even if they did, even if they did, you are paying for your education. Someone's taking you by the hand and explaining everything how to do. So don't don't get into greed can kill your progression. You know, I mean, don't get into that. You're paying for your education. If you find a deal and then someone's willing to walk through the process and they're taking the lion's share of the profit, great. That's awesome. You're still getting something. You're still getting mass value, which then you don't need to use them anymore after that, you know, after a couple times or one or however many times you need. Then you go off and do your own thing. And then... When, and then you still have that go-to person which you can kind of c communicate with. You know, so you have to be open-minded 
and 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 be willing to share. I've had people where they wanted me to mentor them, and and I went through and I did a lot of work. Like when I'm talking to six thousand people a week, and I'm not exaggerating, me and my team we talk to over six thousand people a week. Well, we we call six thousand people. They don't actually answer, but you get my point. We're communicating, uh, at least attempting to communicate to six thousand people a week, and I get people call me and they're like, "Can you analyze this deal?" Okay, sure. And then we then we start going through the process and like, okay. Yeah, let's let's make a good deal. Let's do this together. And the second I, I mention, hey, let's partner, and I'm, we're gonna split it 50-50, They should, oh well, maybe not. I don't want to do this anymore. No, don't help me anymore, Jared. I'm just gonna go over. I'm just gonna try to figure it myself. Like, and then they call me back for help for a different deal. Like, why in the hell am I wasting my time with you? If I have so much stuff that I have to do, and I don't mind helping people, but reality, I want something out of it. You know, I mean, it is it is like emotionally satisfying, but I still I still run a business. So if I'm gonna take my, my time from here, and I'm not, if I go do my own thing, I guarantee I'm making a lot more money doing my own thing than I am helping you. I promise you that. And it, it's the same with any other mentor as well, right? And so you got to be willing to share your deals if you want a mentor to help you walk through the. If you don't, then you're an idiot. Just be pl- be bluntly true. Um, this video's gone a little bit longer than I thought, but. Uh, let me know in the comments, guys. Have you have you guys had conversations with potential mentors? Uh, what are some things you found that worked? Where have you personally gone to find these mentors? And those that have a good mentor that's working with, how have they helped you? What have you done? Um, what has been some of your, your positive experience with these guys? And what are some of the things you wish you would have known before this? Because uh, I made a ton of mistakes when I was looking for my mentors. And so, uh, yeah, it's been a lot of fun. Stay tuned. Please like and subscribe. Uh, if you like these uh, um, how-to real estate videos, please please let me know in the comments. I mean, I, I really uh, I want this this channel to grow so I can help more people. Uh, it's it, it's just uh, it's it's a better for everyone involved. But thanks again, and you guys have an awesome day.